Welcome to the Open Adex How to Video Series. This video is sponsored by Edgenext and presented by Juan Camilo Montoya, CEO. Multiple choice problems with a single response are one of the most common types of questions in online courses. Open edX offers a wide variety of options for this type of component. From your unit in studio, select the problem component, and when prompted for the problem type, choose single select and hit the select button. There are two editing modes for building these basic problems. The first one is the default mode, which provides a simple user interface. At the top, you can change the name of your problem component. Next, you will find the question section, where you can type and style the question with the visual text editor, including images, hyperlinks, and more as needed. Select the phrase that best represents your question and tag it with the label button, so that this phrase is used to reference the specific problem. Next, there is the answer section, where you can add the text for each possible option and check the box in those options that are correct for the learner to choose. Keep in mind that you can mark more than one as correct, but in this type of problem, the learner can only select one and they will get a correct score as long as they select one marked as correct. For each possible choice, you can use the icon on the right-hand side to add a feedback message that is shown to the learners that select that choice. Now you have a simple multiple choice question, but in the bar on the right, you will find some additional options you can leverage to enhance the learner's experience. The scoring card will let you set the number of attempts allowed and the points this question will grant when correct. You'll be able to add one or more hints for the learner to view before submitting the answer. You can specify when the correct answer can be seen by learners. And you can provide a text with an explanation for the learner to understand the correct answer. Finally, you can specify the minimum acceptable time between consecutive attempts. The second editing mode is the advanced editor, which can be accessed by saving the problem first and then editing and clicking on the button in the corner. This will convert the problem to an XML and HTML format. So it will, not, it will not be possible to access the simple editor anymore, but the advantage is that the XML format allows more flexibility to build the problem and configure advanced options, such as shuffling the responses, granting partial credit, drawing responses from an answer pool, adding custom scripts, and more. Check out the documentation to learn more about these advanced options. After your problem is all set, you can use the studio view to quickly test the problem or preview it in the LMS to verify the appearance and behavior before publishing it.